สวัสดีค่ะ Hello everyone, Tiger Gift and Foreigner Joe. Gift, you excited? <laughs> yes. Well, we will be leaving shortly, heading over to uh, s w a n a p u m BKK Airport for our trip to Europe. Our first stop will be Dubai. A plane leaves at three in the morning, so it's actually a red eye. And uh, we get to Italy. It's six hours to Dubai, a little over, and then um, six hours to Venice from Dubai. So we'll be there about one thirty-five tomorrow afternoon. And uh, yeah, we're looking forward to it. I've been waiting for this. I know Gift has as well. Five and a half years, I haven't seen my uh, sons or grandchildren. So um, really looking forward to this trip. Looking forward to showing Gift around Europe. Mm -hmm. And I know she's excited. So uh, we're not taking much with us because we plan on bringing a whole lot back with us, huh? Mm -hmm. But anyway, we hired a driver, and he'll be picking us up here shortly. And then we will be off to Bangkok. We'll probably get there about 10 in the evening, depending on um, traffic, four hours. And uh, yeah, and then three in the morning is when a flight goes. So we'll have some time in the airport. Huh? All right, our driver just showed up half an hour early. So Gifford's going to the uh, toilet real fast, and we are out of here. I thought that we were getting a. Toyota 4Runner SUV, but it looks like we have a um, Fortuna rider. Looks like we have a big van, so. Okay, well, we're in this nice huge van, and the driver said there's some traffic, I guess, people going home after Sun k r o n g so mm -hmm. he thinks it's going to take us about five and a half, six hours to get there. Mm -hmm. uh, so we normally we would be there, it's not even six o'clock, we would be there by 10, and he's saying probably 11 shortly thereafter. As long as we get there by one in the morning, I mean, I'm good. You know, we have to. Uh, we already did our check-in online, so we just have to give our bags and everything. So I think being there two hours before a flight departs will be good to go. Hopefully. Okay. Well, we made it to the airport about five and a half hours. Real good driver. We're going to tip him well. Three thousand two hundred baht. Cup and cup. 3,200 baht, um, and then give t a k e n a tip. So we made it here safely. That's the main thing. Be extremely busy today. s u n g k r a n g the end of s u n g k r a n g So I guess everyone's flying back home, and there must be a lot of folks flying into Thailand for the, the Thai New Year s u n g k r a n g So, but it's 11 o'clock. We got plenty of time. Our flight leaves at 3:30. Yeah, yeah. We checked in online, so. I guess we just give our bags up and they check our documents and everything. And then we'll go through security and relax, right? Okay, so we checked in real quick, five minutes. Went through uh, security, immigration rather, well, security and immigration. And uh, of course, Skip being Thai, I get to go through the Thai line as long as we're together. So that was a quick process. And we still have four hours to go. Four hours to go. It's okay. But busy, nah? Yeah, very busy. It's going to be a long, long night. We have a six-hour flight to Dubai, then we have a two-hour layover, and then we have another six hours to to Venice. We'll be in Venice, uh, European time, at 1:30. Gift was happy. They said, "Does she have a visa or a residence permit?" The lady couldn't find a visa at first, and then she found it. Joe, he changed my passport. <laughs> you bring the old one. What? Okay, you turn. <laughs> yeah, I told Gift. I said, Gift, you got the wrong passport. <laughs> she started panicking, looking in a in a passport, made sure she had the visa there. Yeah. Our gate is the other way. It's on E E4. But Gift said we didn't walk this way the last time, so she wants to walk this way. Very cool. g e t s hiding over there. Run into. Don't 
Don't look right. Don't look right. <laughs> In fact, just look straight ahead. <laughs> yep. Gift was just informed that there's no Starbucks in, inside. Thank she would have had to get a Starbucks outside before security. Oh well. No problem. Okay, let's get some McDonald's french fries. They're always good. We are extremely tired and they keep delaying our flight here in Bangkok. We were supposed to board at 2.40, then they said at 3.05, then they said at 3.15, now at 3.30. We have a very short window in Dubai to go to Venice, so we're going to have one hour from the time we land to get off the plane and to go get our connecting flight. Honestly, I'm not sure we're going to be able to make it, but we'll see. What you got that gift? traffic here in Dubai so yeah but they're telling us that uh, all flights are delayed so we'll see I guess right now it's up in the air because by the time we land it's going to be about 8 30 and our flight leaves from Dubai is supposed to leave at 9 05 so this is crazy four times another 30 minutes hovering over Dubai how long, how long can we stay in the year? Well, this is two hours now. Two and a half hours hovering over Dubai. Now we're on the ground, 15 minutes. Still haven't pulled up to our gate. We have now been on this plane for over 11 hours. Six hour flight on the plane for 11 hours. And we're still waiting to uh, Get off the plane, we're still on the tarmac, waiting. There's all the information, 11 hours, 10 minutes. Still got a plane in front of us. Who knows how many's in front of him. And who knows when we're going to get off this flight. And who knows if we're going to catch our next flight. Okay, this is really, really ridiculous. We are now... 12 hours and 5 minutes in total on this plane, according to the monitor here. 12 hours and 6 minutes now, and we are still on a tarmac. We still have planes in front of us. So we are almost 13 hours now, 12 hours and 42 minutes on the plane. You know what really stinks? Is they don't even have Wi-Fi on the plane where you, they can provide you Wi-Fi so you can contact your hotel at least and tell them, hey, I won't be showing up in time. Or if you booked a taxi, in our case, we have a friend coming to pick us up. But I can't even call the guy to let him know, hey, don't make that drive to uh, to uh, Venice to pick me up because you can't. And also, since we have an Airbnb, we need to contact them. There's only a certain time you could uh, check in. Right now, it's... Uh, what is it? It's Well, it's 11 o'clock. It would be Venice time, 11 o'clock. So even if we did get a flight, which we're probably not going to get, we won't even make it there till late tonight. So with this being an Airbnb, again, it's not like a hotel or anything like that. And if we, if that, if we did have a taxi booked and paid for, we'd lose that money too. So they provided us a, some juice and a little pack of crackers. They can't tell you, they don't tell you anything. They're not telling you anything. They're not letting, you can't see on a monitor if your flight was delayed also, if it's canceled, whatever. No information whatsoever, other than we're waiting, we're waiting. They're, they'll make an announcement in about 20 minutes. Oh, we're still waiting. Like, we don't know that, right? I mean, I know shit happens and think some things can't be changed, but they could at least communicate with us a little better, you know? not providing us with any 
any options at all to to be able to reach out. I, I can imagine people have family and stuff like that waiting on them. Twelve hours and forty five minutes on a plane for a six hour flight. And we still have that plane in front of us Alors, waiting too, so who knows when we're going to get off the plane. Okay, well, over 13 hours on the plane. Now we're finally getting off, hopefully, and uh, we'll see what's going on. I think we are. So we are on a connecting flight to Venice. We got off the plane in, in Dubai, right? No one's standing at the gate. We were on that plane for 13 hours. No one's standing on the gate giving any guidance. So we automatically started to go to the um, the check-in, connection check-in desk, because we thought that's what we would have to do. So we go there and the stewardess, one of the ladies that was working on the other side said, oh no, just go to the, just go to the gates, just go to the gates. Didn't say what gate or anything, just go, go through security. This way, you gotta go this way is what she said. So we go through all of the security and everything. And I'm like, okay, where do we go? Where, where do we go? So um, we asked another gentleman, he said, oh no, you go to the connection desk. So we walk back out, out of security, and we go to the connection desk. And needless to say, there was like 100, 200 people there, minimal. So we're standing there. I said, Gift, I have to go to the bathroom real fast. Could you just wait? It's gonna be quite a while. So I went to the bathroom and I came out and just something told me, read the board. So I read the board and it said on our flight, um, the flight was supposed to leave at 9.05 in the morning. So it said off flight, 9.05 a.m. last call. And I'm looking at that, huh, last call, 9.05. I ran to the um, the uh, desk where Gift was standing and waiting in line. And I said, Gift, let's go, just let's go. And we started running. All in ass, basically. We had to catch a few tra trains, what they call the trains or whatever. And we were running, literally running. Gift could barely keep up, but she did. She's a she's a trooper. Uh, we, it must have been 15 minutes, right? We had 15, 20 minutes just running. And we finally got here, and we are on a plane now. So we should be in Venice. Uh, I don't know what time they're going to take off. I'm sure they're waiting on other people. Hopefully, we don't have to sit here on the tarmac for another three hours. But anyway, we're hoping to be in Venice by 7, 7 or 8 p.m. Um, I was able to get Wi-Fi and tell the guy that was picking us up to, to please call the, the um, Airbnb, let them know we'll be late. And he's already been tracking the time and everything. So we're, we're good to go. But this is one flight from hell. I'll, I'll tell you, no communication with these people whatsoever. None whatsoever. You, you have to figure it out on your own, right? Figure it out on your own. You ask somebody something, they look at you like, who? Huh? You know, so anyway. Anyway, I am frustrated. I'm tired. I'm hungry. I think Gift is as well. Poor Gift. She usually eats a lot more than me, and she hasn't eaten in God who knows how many hours. We finally got a meal. Let's see what Gift has. Noodle salad and beef ragu, I believe, yeah. That's good. Yeah. Happy to be here. 
somewhere along the way on one leg of our trip, I am going to make an announcement that is basically going to uh, change gifts and my life forever the way it is right now. So uh, stay tuned for that. Gift doesn't know anything about it, but um, you guys, you'll be one of the first ones to see that announcement. So I found out why we spent eight hours in the air for a six hour flight, five hours on the tarmac. Apparently uh, yesterday there was some bad storms in Dubai and the airport got flooded. So this is what I hear anyway. So they had to cancel all of the, the uh, flights, if not most of the flights. So that created uh, ground traffic and there was just no space and no room for other planes to land. But anyway, it's all good now. We're going to be in Venice in one hour and 13 minutes. So, get the still sleep. Even though the plane was fully booked, it was like 40% occupied. That means 60% of the people missed the flight in Dubai. We almost missed it because we didn't know what we were doing, like I said. But luckily, I read that board. But, um, yeah, about uh, 60% of the people missed their flight, unfortunately. They'll bad for it. Welcome to Venice. I told you I'd bring you here one day, didn't I? Get my camera. Okay, we just got out of the. Uh, uh, are you in that camera? We just got. We, this is this is our friend Chris, kind enough to pick us up from the airport. I've known Chris for many years now, but anyway, another bad situation leaving here. But we'll talk more about that in a little while. I'm trying to sabai sabai, calm down. Gift is also just. Let's say we don't have any clothes for tonight. Nothing to wear, so we have to go buy clothes, toothpaste, toothbrush, etc. And who knows when our clothes will be coming, right? Tomorrow. But they they said possibly tomorrow. What a nightmare. What a what a nightmare. <laughs> but you don't you like me without underwear gift? Yes. <laughs> All right, Andiamo. Well, we made it to our accommodation safely. We're staying in an Airbnb for uh, uh, 13 days. So this is a little less than $100 a, a day, $100 a night. I'm sorry, we're so tired, we're so wore out. We, everything, everything that could have went wrong went wrong. But the main thing is, through all of this, we are very happy. We made it here safely, and really that's the most important thing, even with all of the challenges that we went through. We're gonna get some sleep, we gotta figure things out tomorrow. We have to go shopping for some clothes and everything. I don't even know, did I mention the clothes? I don't even know if I mentioned that um, our suitcases <laughs> didn't come from Dubai and we have to... I, I'm sorry everyone, because we're very tired. Very we tired, talk, yeah. We talk, we talk again, oh, we talk again yeah. and we talk over again, over again. Anyway, when we got to, uh, when we got to um, Venice Airport, uh, they notified us, and even in the email, they notified us that we have no luggage came with us from Dubai. So like wow so we had to fill out paperwork at the airport and we're extremely tired as it is and they say that they will mail it to us or deliver it to us tomorrow or the following day we said we have no clothes or anything oh you can buy clothes and and go online with the airline and and fill out the form and they'll reimburse you yeah i don't buy it buy into that anyway luckily here we have a, a washing machine we can wash what we have and um, we have some shower gel and, and shampoo and everything for right now because it's late. It's like 10 o'clock in the evening and tomorrow we'll um, we'll figure everything out. Right now we're just too tired. No dance. Say goodnight, Gift. Huh? Goodnight, na. Sawaddi ka. We'll see you guys on the next one. This is going to be an amazing journey, an amazing trip. We are going to have a great time. Um, here in Italy and all the countries we're going to see my kids and everything. So this is this little glitch in a day or two means nothing at all. We are very happy, even though we seem stressful and it is stressful, but we're just tired. We're hungry. We're tired. We're everything. But anyway, we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.